Hey broskies, what's up? It's Sona. Welcome back to my channel. So, I recently watched Squid Game, the show on Netflix where struggling people compete for money in a deadly game. And when I watched this, I thought it was just gonna be overhyped and I didn't think it was gonna be that good, but it was really good and I cried. So, in today's video, I'm gonna be drawing Squid Game if it was cute. By the way, this contains spoilers. You have been warned. Alright, so the first character that we're shooting cute today from Squid Game is the Red Light Green Light doll. I know that this doll isn't technically considered a character or a human because she is a giant doll, but she's still a really cool feature in the show, so I wanted to put her in here regardless. As most of us know, she first makes an appearance in the first episode where they play the game Red Light Green Light. For anyone who doesn't know how it works, Red Light Green Light is a game where there's a person in the front and then there's a line of people in the back, and whenever the person in the front says green light, people move forward. But once they say red Red light, you're supposed to stop, and if you're caught moving, then you have to go to the back of the line and start over again. And in this case, the doll is the person who says red light, green light. When she says red light, she turns her head around and she detects any movement that is made, and if she detects movement from you, you're screwed. Now that I think about it, the first game may be one of the only games in Squid Game that Americans are actually more familiar with because I remember playing red light, green light as a kid as well, and I really sucked at it, so I would have died instantly in this game. Despite this being the very first game in the series, it's still one of my favorites and honestly really locked me into this show. And actually, according to an interview with Jung Ho Young, who is the actor of Seibyuk from Squid Game, the Red Light Green Light doll may actually be inspired from a girl character in a textbook series they read in school as children, which does make sense considering the Squid Games are based on childhood things. And something that I found even cooler about this doll is that it's not CGI, like it's not special effects. This doll is real. This huge doll is literally an asset that was built for the show. Like that is so cool. I wonder how long it took them to make because that thing's huge. So since this doll is designed to look like a little child and stuff, it's supposed to seem innocent but also still creepy because you know it literally kills people. But to be honest, her design still really scares me and it's not cute to me. So with my design, I wanted to make her actually innocent and actually look cute because come on, that face, that's freaky. So my concept for this drawing is that after the red light green light game, she felt pretty bad about killing so many players in the game. She never actually really wanted to harm anyone. She she just wanted to play and have fun, but obviously it turned deadly. So in this picture, she's actually shown coming back from school. As you can see, she has a little backpack on her shoulder, and she's actually holding this tray of Dalgona cookies that she made at school. Uh, the cookies that were in the second game, so uh, kind of foreshadowing there. I wanted to put the Dalgona cookies in this video somehow, so I think this was a good way to incorporate it. But yeah, she's holding this tray of Dalgona cookies that she made at school, and she's basically handing them out to the other players as a sorry for what she did in the first game. She's got her red light green light outfit, but I made it look a bit more traditional because I know in a lot of um, schools outside of the United States, they do have uniforms most of the time, or at least that's what I've seen. So I made her dress overalls and her shirt look a little bit more like a traditional school uniform. I also made her pigtails into braids because the character that she's inspired from appears to be wearing braids, so I thought that was a nice little touch to add. Looks like her mom did her hair up for school, it looks really cute. And I also made her backpack purple to match with her hair pieces. Instead of giving her that creepy face that she originally had where her eyes are just black and soulless. I gave her these really cute big shiny eyes. Definitely looks a lot more friendly and innocent in my opinion and that's what I was going for so. Yeah my drawing of the red light green light doll from Squid Game as cute girl is done. I am honestly so so proud of this one and I'm so happy with how it turned out. I think it looks absolutely adorable and I think my concept is really cool as well. Now let me know what you broski think of it too. Alright, so the next thing from Squid Game that we're going to be turning cute is the guard character. I mean, obviously, the guards are one of the most iconic things in this entire show. Look at that drip. Uh, no, but for real, I think their outfits are really cool. So, the guards from Squid Game play a pretty important role. They're supposed to follow the characters around and they make sure that the players are doing what they're supposed to do, making sure they don't escape or making sure that they don't break the rules. And if the players do break the rules, majority of the time, it is the guard's duty to eliminate them from the game by executing them. But I guess that also really depends because all guards are different depending on the shape that their mask has. I guess you could say the triangle guards are definitely the main ones because they're usually the ones that are armed with the weapons, they're the ones that enforce the rules, and they are usually the ones that execute the players for breaking the rules. 
And then the guards with the circle mask are kind of just there to, you know, clean up after everything. And then the guards with the square mask are actually the supervisors who are just a step below of the boss who wears the black suit and stuff. There's a rule that the guards aren't allowed to speak unless spoken to by their superiors, and also there's a very strict rule that you are not allowed to show your face if you are a guard. That's why they wear those masks to hide their identity. And if anyone sees their face, they'll be executed, which was shown in the second game where a guard had to take his mask off because he was being threatened with a gun. And right after that, he was killed by the boss. So for my drawing, I'm basing it off of the triangle guard because they are seen as the most scary since they do the dirty work. And I don't know if this is just me. I mean, it probably is. When I look at the guard's outfits, it kind of reminds me of a paintball suit that people wear when they play a paintball game. You know, um, both of the outfits are very baggy and looks like a windbreaker material. It just reminds me a lot of a paintball shooter. So my concept for my guard is that she's not nearly as deadly because instead of having a real gun that shoots bullets, she's actually carrying this cute paintball gun and it's pink. And when she actually shoots people with the paintballs when they break the rules, it doesn't kill them. It just, you know, disqualifies them from the game. It's like a little cute fun thing. It's not deadly. So it's much more innocent. Actually kind of similar to what Critical did with his in real life Squid Game videos. It's like if Squid Game was more fun and innocent and it didn't involve death. But of course, that's not the only thing I did for this drawing. I also messed with the design a lot as well. The original design for the guards is very simple because like I said, they have this big baggy bright pink suit with these masks. But as you can see, my design is quite a bit more complicated than that. And I think it looks really cool. Uh, so basically for the mask, hers isn't entirely covering her face. It's only covering her eyeballs. So I'd imagine that the rules for these guards would be a little bit less strict. She's also wearing a hoodie. And since I wanted her to be a triangle guard, I wanted to kind of make her hair represent that as well. So I made her hair look kind of spiky, a bit more triangular shaped. And then there was a little ponytail coming out of the back of her hoodie. I thought that was cute. And instead of her clothes being an entire suit, I gave her more of this uh, hoodie slash romper type jacket that are short sleeved. And then she has these long black gloves that have holes cut out of the fingers. I gave her these long knee socks and her shorts are also very similar to her jacket as well. She has a pair of red boots that have a triangle in the middle with straps, as well as a cute little pair of triangle earrings. And then uh, you'll see this towards the end. Instead of a regular paintball coming out of her paint gun, it is in the shape of a heart, which makes it look 10 times more innocent, of course. And now our Squid Girl guard is finished. I love how she turned out. Uh, I was going for this retro arcade type vibe, and I think I pulled that off pretty well. I think it looks really nice, and I'm super proud of it. Alright, so um, this last one is quite different from the others. So since the players for Squid Game are obviously one of the most important parts of the entire show, since they are the ones playing the game, I really wanted to include those green or whatever you call it, teal tracksuits somehow into this video. I really wanted to do something with those. It took me a really, really long time to come up with a concept since they're so simple. I mean, it's just a tracksuit. Looks like they're in gym class or something. But eventually I finally came up with a concept. So I decided that I want to turn this green gym tracksuit thing into a magical girl outfit and the person that's going to be wearing it is Kong Sebyuk. Considering the theme of this video, I thought it was a pretty good idea to do something like a magical girl outfit. And also not only that, but I think the concept would also be kind of funny considering how Kong Sebyuk is such a tough and cold and silent character. She's not the type of character that you would expect to wear something like a cute little magical schoolgirl outfit. So I thought that would definitely add some comedy into this. And I just gotta say, Sebyuk is for sure one of my top favorite characters in Squid Game. And my first favorite is Jihun. And this might surprise some people, but my second favorite is actually Han min -yo. I know a lot of people don't like that character because she's kind of crazy, but that's what I love about her so much. She's honestly so entertaining, and I think she's a really underrated character. But yeah, Sebyuk is definitely one of my favorite characters, and not to mention, she is just so pretty. When I saw her, I was like, wow, she looks like a model, and turns out she actually is a model, which I had no clue about. Actually, one of the top models in South Korea. So that's a really cool thing to know. And also, Squid Game was actually her first time actually acting in a show, which I was really, really shocked by because her acting was just so good. I think all of us can definitely agree on that. Uh, spoilers, not to mention that one part where with episode six, uh, it got me so heartbroken. Oh my goodness. That's definitely one of the best parts of the show, but it definitely had me crying. I honestly loved the friendship that Sebyuk developed with Ji Young in episode six. And I know that these two definitely would have been amazing friends if they actually made it out of the game together. So much that one of the things that I actually came close to doing for this video is I was going to draw Sebyuk and Ji Young if they got out of the Squid Game together and if they lived their lives as a happy couple. Uh, I really thought that would have been a super cute concept. One of the reasons I didn't go with that concept initially is because I'm really busy, I'm in 
the process of moving and drawing two characters is double the work and I just don't have the time for it but if I was in different circumstances I definitely would have because I just think they would make such a cute couple. It was quite difficult to figure out how to turn the whole tracksuit into this magical girl suit because it's so simple but I eventually came up with something. I did end up taking some inspiration from the Sailor Moon outfits because you know she's a magical girl in this with the long boots and the bubble shaped sleeves and the mini skirt and one thing that I added onto her that wasn't originally on the tracksuit is these crystals because it would have not looked nearly as magical if I didn't add them and also her number on her jacket yeah I put that on a giant crystal on her chest plate I thought that was a cool touch and I also put some crystals along in her hair as well as well as a few on her skirt and her boots and even though I'm going for a cutesy vibe for this picture I still wanted to keep Sabiok's personality in this because I don't want to make her a completely different character so I left her with this very annoyed facial expression while she's doing this peace sign because I don't think she's the type of character that would actually want to dress up like this. So yeah, overall, I just think this concept is cute and funny. And yeah, she is done. Save Yook as a magical girl. I really hope you broskies liked how this one turned out. It took me a long time to figure out this design, but in the end, I think it turned out pretty cool. So there you have it broskies, this was me making Squid Game, if it was cute I really hope you enjoyed this video, if you did be sure to like and subscribe, let me know your favorite drawing that I made, mine is definitely the doll one, I think she's so cute holding her little tray of cookies, again thank you so much for watching, and with that I'll see all you broskies in the next video, bye! <coughs>